Good evening and welcome to the Danilo Husserstrup Memorial Lecture for 2008. First of all, I want to thank everyone for coming, particularly on such a beautiful evening when the sun is out and the temperature is nice and there's so many other wonderful things to do tonight, so many tickets that could be had in Toronto, and at the beginning of a holiday weekend, no less, thank you very much for coming. In particular, I want to thank the family of Danilo Husserstrup, who are here, his mother, his widow, his sister, and all the rest of his family that is here. This lecture series was instituted to commemorate the memory of Danilo Strup, whom I'm sure most of you know, but let me remind you that Danilo was a professor at this university who was particularly well known for his work not only as a teacher, but also as an organizer. He was the editor-in-chief of the Encyclopedia of Ukraine project here at the University of Toronto. And in fact, as part of that work, he became the institutional founder of the presence of the Canadian Institute of Ukrainian Studies on this campus. And this lecture series is sponsored by the Canadian Institute of Ukrainian Studies, by the Danilo Husserstru Program in Ukrainian Literature, which of course was founded as this lecture series was to honor his memory. Danilo wasn't only a teacher, a scholar, and an organizer. He was a man of boundless energy, and one of his great skills was building institutions. And this lecture series, it may be a little bit grandiloquent to call it an institution, but nevertheless, for scholars, something that happens year after year and is an opportunity to share what we do, that is scholarship, is an important event, and hopefully this lecture series will continue long into the future. It was created not only to honor Danilo's memory, but also to give voice to a special area of Ukrainian study that he was particularly concerned with, Ukrainian literature. And Ukrainian literature talked about in English, that is, Ukrainian literature for a clientele more than just our own Ukrainian public, which has its own lecture series and various opportunities to talk about Ukrainian literature. Ukrainian literature has a relatively small presence in the world. Those of us, like Danilo, like me, who pursue this field for a living, do what we can to enlarge this sphere of knowledge, and hopefully this lecture series will help in that direction. An area of particular importance for us in promoting Ukrainian literature is contemporary Ukrainian literature, which is very vibrant, very interesting, often crazy, but that's what contemporary literature is everywhere. And today we are particularly fortunate in that we can focus on that particular area, contemporary Ukrainian literature. And we have as our speaker one of the few experts on contemporary Ukrainian literature who exist in our diaspora world at least, so those who are capable of speaking about Ukrainian contemporary literature in English. Dr. Marko Andrejcik is also a particularly appropriate speaker for us today because he was a student of Danilo Struk's. That is, Danilo Struk passed away before Dr. Andrejcik finished his studies, but he had the benefit of studying with Danilo Struk and I'm sure there are fond memories, or not so fond, but students don't say that to us in public, of his experiences with Professor Struk. Marko Andrejcik 
finished his PhD here at the University of Toronto in our department only a few years ago, which doesn't mean there isn't much to say about him. It just means that the accomplishments are all squeezed into a few years. As I've said, he is a specialist on contemporary Ukrainian literature. That was the subject of his dissertation and continues to be the area of his primary intellectual focus. Since graduating with a PhD from this university, Dr. Andrejcik has held some distinguished positions. He has been a Sklar Fellow at Harvard University's Ukrainian Research Institute, and he is, in fact, this year, and perhaps even into the future, uh, Shuchenko Scientific Society in the United States fellow at Columbia University. That is, he holds a fellowship from Enteshav, which allows him to hold a position at Columbia University as, a, as an instructor. I don't want to take up more of your time or of his time, because I suspect what he has to say is far more interesting. So I invite you to welcome Dr. Marko Andrejcik, who will talk to us about new influences of the intellectual in post-Soviet Ukrainian literature. Please welcome Dr. Andrejcik. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Tarnowski, for your introduction and for inviting me to speak this evening. I also want to thank the Canadian Institute of Ukrainian Studies for organizing and sponsoring this series every year. Greetings to the family of the Novostruk. Dobry uh, To all of you, and thanks for coming to my talk, to everyone. Uh, I always look forward to these spring lectures in the past. I had the opportunity to visit four of them, and it was always great. The spring, the semester was basically over. Spring uh, was was in full bloom, summer is just around the corner, and it was always really nice in this beautiful room with this balcony and, and all this wood. There used to be more wood, I believe, but uh, uh, this beautiful room. And I'm honored to be counted on to continue this, this great tradition. Uh, as Professor Tarnowski has already revealed to you, uh, late last year's speaker, uh, Ms. Lausch Committee, I am an al alumnus of the University of Toronto. Thus, my introduction will be a bit nostalgic. Uh, I found out that I was accepted to the program here at University of Toronto while I was in Ukraine. And when I shared this news uh, with my friends there, they said, oh, good, to go. Toronto, it's a, quote, good place to be Ukrainian. Now, I came to Toronto uh, for many reasons. I was familiar with the activity of Kios and the publications. Uh, I came because I knew that there were a lot of uh, Ukrainian community institutions which offered opportunities for Ukrainian culture to be presented and discussed. And of course I came because of the strength of the Ukrainian program at the University of Toronto. I learned much by studying under and working with Professor Tarnowski and with Professor Taras uh, Professor Tarnowski was my guide through my academic program here. Uh, and it's interesting, as I teach or do research or write something now, uh, it seems that every class that I had here uh, continues to inform my work somehow, even Old Church Slavonic, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude I don't know if I ever got a chance to do this. I graduated and I was out of here quickly, but I do want to take this opportunity to thank the Canadian Foundation for Ukrainian Studies for the financial support I received that allowed me to complete my, my work here. My wife and I enjoyed our six years in Toronto, six or so years. We made great friends here, and it's always great to come back to this city. In the last three years, I have lost the Toronto accent, which I apparently, according to my 